Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, you can check out patreon.com. Look at the drop down uh, video description in the drop down menu below the video on YouTube. In there is different ways to uh, support the channel through social media or booking a private reading. All of that information is included in there. There's also some vital information as to how I would like you to perceive and use my readings in your day-to-day -day life. So please read that and um, kind of uh, uh, take it into account. If you enjoyed the reading, please hit the thumbs up button. That also helps me. Um, and if you choose to subscribe, I'd love to have you here. Every morning we're here doing the daily forecast. We also have monthly horoscopes and unboxings and live events, things like that. So hit the um, notification bell and you'll be notified when I'm on live or when new videos go on. So here is the daily forecast for all signs for Thursday, the 22nd of April. And so it's originally created for that date. So for those of you that watch on the regular, this is building upon the Sunday uh, reading, which is the energy of the week. But um, for those of you that are watching this on a date that's not Thursday, April 22nd, that's okay. There may still be a message in here for you. Um, so you can continue to watch any of my videos, even though um, they're dated for a specific date. I believe that spirit, our own higher self, can find the messages we need when we need them. And so if you're randomly watching a video, pay attention. There might be something in there for you. All right, so let's get into this and see what the cards want us to know today. What can we harness or be aware of that will help make our situation, transition, growth, um, evolution more smooth? Let's see what's going on. Okay. So we have the Four of Swords. Talk about smooth. She's all cuddled up in there. I love this Four of Swords. This is beautiful. Four of Swords would indicate um, like peace. Uh, going inward, certainly mentally, right? Because swords is the element of air and the mind, right? It can be written contracts. It can be um, uh, thought, ideas. This is taking sort of that rest, kind of insulating ourselves from maybe even our own negative thinking or the, the opinions and, and thoughts of others that maybe doesn't sit well with us. What I love about this particular Four of Swords, I usually get this real meditative uh, or... Um, withdrawn feeling with the four of swords and like a more traditional four of swords but with this there's a nice little like coziness to it which is not a traditional four of swords vibe to me usually four of swords has a bit of a because it's swords it can be sort of detached unemotional for our own well-being and for our own self-care but it usually has like a sterile feeling to it this to me feels very nurturing it has to do with this the nest and also the um the yarn with the heart attached to it, right? Where we might be just doing this and giving our mind a break so that our heart can rest, right? So that we can feel better, so that we can have more energy, so that we can move forward in a more purposeful way in whatever it is we might be doing, right? So if we find ourselves wanting to withdraw or wanting to take in that quiet, uh, today would certainly be a good day to do so. Uh, to do that with a conscious awareness that you're doing it for yourself, for your own well-being, that would also be extremely nurturing. That's kind of the vibe that I get with this card is it's all about nurturing, which is not, yes, that's a Four of Swords quality, but it, I don't feel that it's the most nurturing of cards, if that makes any sense. But this card does feel like that should be the focus. This is about, uh, you know, if if we're feeling not up for it today, that's okay. This is the day where, you know, we call out sick or we um, decide we're not going to engage in situations that we're aware will bring us maybe further heartache or stress. Um, we're going to tone it down, keep our opinions to ourselves, allow others to keep their opinions to themselves, that kind of a thing. Um, I do love that there's a rest that takes place with the Four of Swords. I see that both here and traditionally that we need, right? A rest of the mind. And in doing that, especially with this particular card, I think we align our mind with our heart. We saw the romance of the Knight of Cups yesterday, which was definitely like sort of a heartfelt uh, vibe. So we're still carrying that through, but we're maybe carrying that through to our thoughts. 
and giving our mind a break, giving ourselves a break, being less critical of ourselves um, or others, right? Paying, putting the attention back on us and, and um, making ourselves uh, not only mentally more clear, but also uh, maybe even emotionally that will like clear some stuff up for us emotionally. Remember underneath this, we have that two of pentacles turning into the hierophant. So, um, cause we're right at Thursday. So it should be kind of, both are earth energy. Hierophant is Taurus energy. Uh, two of pentacles is certainly earth energy. So both are very grounding. Um, the hierophant is gonna lift us to that sort of, um, you know, higher learning, socially acceptable, doing the right things for the right reasons from a spiritual perspective. Uh, so we might be resting a little bit here in this Four of Swords as we gear up for, um, it's almost like we're clearing the way with this Four of Swords, like clearing our mind and our hearts so that we can allow that higher thought energy in to look at things from a higher perspective, a more spiritually based perspective, from a more um, uh, socially correct um, perspective, if that makes sense. Uh, so enjoy this day and sort of this solitude. Um, it's okay to, uh, to, um, put yourself first. Remember that word for this week is generosity. And I've always said with that word generosity, we need to be generous with ourselves first and foremost. And that's kind of the energy of this four of swords card. So, oh, here we go. I love it. This is a new card for us. It's called hold your center. And what is she doing right there? She's holding herself like in the center of the nest. So I love this, this hold your center. To me, when I look at this, this woman is very empowered. There's a doorway she's working her way through. Um, I feel like this is her own higher self. And the discussion is amongst her and her higher self as to new beginnings. I get her definite new beginnings because of that doorway and it's certainly that peaceful like white dove above her. I feel like there's a communication happening with our higher self today that needs to happen through that quietness of that four of swords, through the potential withdrawal that we may need to take or that, um, you know, insulating that nest there gives me this idea of insulating ourselves from the opinions of the outside world or what's going on in the outside world um, and allowing things um, to sort of shift. And while we do that, we concentrate on holding our center and what is our truth and our higher knowledge or our higher communication within ourselves. And, um, and, and that strengthens us in some way. It sets us up for new beginnings and new opportunities. Um, uh, ideally, maybe even fresh inspiration that could be coming from that. So let's read Hold Your Center. Hold Your Center is a thing, card number 34, which would be a seven. Sevens to me are always about making a conscious choice to move towards the the, um, the sort of the balance that takes place in a, in a number eight, right? The following number. So when I'm thinking about this as far as holding our center, there is a choice here that we get to make. Do we put ourselves first and go into this Four of Swords energy with the intention of clearing our mind and settling our heart and listening to our higher like knowledge over that of maybe what the world is telling us or our friends are telling us or our family? It's that kind of a vibe today, trusting ourselves first and foremost and taking care of ourselves and being generous with ourselves in that way. So hold your center. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firm, per, firmly place your feet there and do not move. That's that earth energy of the two of pentacles and that hierophant. The hierophant is what's going to be that do not move part of it. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience, experience quiet certainty. That's the Four of Swords, guys. As you build your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. Now let's read the invocation. The invocation, and if you need to pause every so often and say it with me, please feel free to do so. The invocation, I am empowered by divine love to hold my center to be in my truth, to stay strong, to be in my integrity, and to act with courage. The only energy I invite and allow to remain in my field is that which supports me unconditionally and with genuine love. I love my boundaries. They are the way that I lovingly choose which energy to invite into my life. 
and which energy I choose to pass right by me. I do not judge, but I do choose wisely. I love myself and my life path now. I hold myself with powerful and caring commitment. May all beings know that their true inner strength, may all beings know their true inner strength through my own free will and unconditional love, so be it. Can't get any clearer than that, guys. Let's look at the grounding stone. These two are very much in line with one another and um, they're giving a very clear message. So let's see what the grounding stone is. And the grounding stone is on, the word is honor. I'm not sure what stone this is. I think it might be moonstone. I'm not sure. Whoops. Um, but the word honor to me, I think this is about honoring our truth, honoring our spirit, honoring our center, honoring ourselves first and foremost over anything and everything around us. Uh, only when we're in our center can we offer up the best and do honor to the world around us. Does that make sense? By having ourselves be in our best kind of mental, emotional um, physical state, right? Now, it's not always going to be perfect. It never really is. There is no such thing as perfection. I truly believe that. Um, you know, the universe is made, you know, nature is a, f it does come together perfectly, but it's sort of like a chaotic um, magic, right? And so I think that we as human beings also have that within us. We're not supposed to aspire to perfection. We're supposed to aspire to exactly who we are in the given moment, in the in the present moment. Honoring that within ourselves and being generous to ourselves in that way um, allows ourselves to find our center, find out who we truly are, how we truly feel, what we're truly thinking. And it allows us to have that dialogue with ourselves that helps us to reach those higher awarenesses through this hold your center card. We see that spirit in that doorway. There's a, there's a discussion happening with that woman and her um, higher self. There's an awareness that's being built, an education that's taking place. And those are the things that we should be ideally um, focused on, committed to, and honoring today so that we can not only be generous to ourselves, but also have more of ourselves to share and display and sort of create and bring into this three-dimensional world um, as it shifts and changes. Wow, that was a little spacey. All right, guys, <laughs> that's your forecast for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you here every morning. And tell your friends about me. Post the video wherever you'd like. Share it out. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Um, have a beautiful day and really honor, like to take the time to stop and honor yourself and um, connect in because these cards couldn't be any clearer today. Um, and for those of you watching on another date, this is just as valid then too. Take care. Bye-bye.